in the intro track, you're about to hear or see three short, solo, <laughs> three short solos of the same backing, two of which will be as fully improvised as I can make them, and one will be a partially written or at least more thought out and planned in advance solo. I'd like you to work out or guess which is the written solo and write your answer in the comments down below. Answer will be in the following video where I'll also be talking, possibly ranting on the subject of improvised versus composed solos. But for now, let's jam and talk fancy strats. Cheers. So I hadn't planned on shooting this video for two reasons. First of all, I'm supposed to be packing to go away on holiday with my wife next week, trekking in the Himalayas. So uh, if she catches me doing this, I'll be in trouble. And second, it's hot as holy <laughs> The UK is the hottest place on earth right now. And oh my goodness, sweat patches, you have to excuse them. However, a few months ago, I borrowed this gorgeous axe off good friend and gear cook supreme, John Nathan Cordy. He's a big fan of K-Line guitars and very kindly when we met up for an illicit premiere in Jam, uh, he let me borrow it. This has got to go back to him, ideally before I go off to Nepal. So here we are, shooting guitar videos in uh, 38 degrees heat with no air conditioning. That's why we complain about it, because we don't have air conditioning in the UK. I've got basically three single coil guitars here, so three, three single coil guitars. So we've got this K-Line of Cordy's, I've got my one-off uh, Fibonari S-Type Roadmaster FB Classic, We've also got this 2005 Sir Classic Custom. Now, on the surface level, these three guitars are essentially the same guitar. They share many of the same features and specs. 
So I wanted to really sort of put test them out back to back and ask myself the question and ask you guys the question, like, is it crazy to own three of the same guitar? How similar or how different are they? Is it, are they worth it as compared to a regular Fender Strat, et cetera? There's so many S-type options out there, and um, how do these three stack up? Whilst these three are all ostensibly on, on the surface level the same, to, to me, they feel and play and sound incredibly differently. They're doing very, very different things. If we take this K-Line Springfield, this is a killer example of a great vintage classic Strat built to incredibly high standards, and they're actually relatively affordable as well um, as compared to like custom shop Strats. Now there are a few small tweaks he's made here and there to modernize it, but overall the feel, sound, and response of this is very much a classic vintage Strat. That's as opposed to the Sir Classic. This looks very much certainly body shape like a Strat, and cover up the headstock, or if you add back on the, the bulb, <laughs> the circle bit, uh, it's very, very similar, but it's not that vintagey vibe. It feels and sounds and responds much more modern, um, especially with the blend knob as well. And I think there's the silent single coils. This has the buzz fight in. It's slightly more aggressive car, um, cutaways and the contours and things. Uh, this has locking tuners, I should have said as well. K-Line doesn't, Fibonacci does have locking tuners. Um, but yeah, so this is going to give you a much more modern feeling, much more modern sounding um, S3 single coil S type experience. If I come finally to the Roadmaster, so this is my Fibonacci custom Roadmaster. This is once again, three single coil S type guitar doing something very, very different. I was incredibly lucky to have the guys at Fibonacci build this for me. This is the, the only one they've ever made. And um, the idea when designing this was to get something that was uh, like their Fastback model, their Roadmaster Fastback um, S-Type, which is more of a super strat, but round it off to be a bit more classic. Um, and yeah, so we changed some of the body contours and angles. Um, and uh, what else did we do to this one? Yeah, I changed the headstock design slightly. Um, and yeah, the neck carve of this is just perfect for me and perfect for legato playing. So this is doing somewhere uh, this is kind of bridging the gap, I would say, somewhere between what the K-Line and the Sur are doing. This has been my main sort of gigging guitar for a long, long time, and I absolutely adore it for that reason. And that what I've tried to do, and what we tried to do for Benari with this guitar, was get that perfect balance between old and new. And it was a prototype, so we didn't hit it bang on first time, but um, it really is, with some tweaks and some work that we've had, I've had done on it, it really is a killer um, S-type. But again, it doesn't feel like an actual vintage Strat. I think it can sound more like one than this uh, doesn't feel like one. So really, I think um, these are all valid uh, rationalizations and justifications for owning three of what is on the surface, what your wife or significant other might think as the same guitar. Uh, you can now fire all these off in quick succession as to why you're justified. <laughs> So what I'll do now is just go through uh, each pickup position playing relatively roughly the same thing with a clean and a broken up pushed sound on each of the three guitars. You'll be able to hear from these examples the differences in the sounds. Um, let me know what you think, which one do you prefer, which one do you think is best. Um, I know I'm biased, so I won't give an opinion there. Obviously my Fibonacci, I'm going to say, is uh, my favorite, blah, blah, blah. But I love the K-Line. This is, if I was going for a true uh, classic vintage vibe Strat, I would absolutely consider a K-Line because for the, va the the money that they charge, you get one hell of a good guitar that rivals Fender custom shops that are twice the price. Sir, also you cannot go wrong with a Sir. In fact, I am I love old Sirs, so the kind of mid-2000s range. I'm always on the lookout for a, a vintage Sir because those early custom Sirs are phenomenal. However, um, it's not a Strat, it's not a vintage Strat, it's not even a modern Strat, it's its own thing. So there we have it, that's um, that's just about wraps up this video. It's a little bit rushed as I've got to pack this up, clean it, <laughs> got to clean it off, get all the dirty BB sweat off it and uh, pack it back up to take it to Cordy. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, click like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified of new videos. If you want to check out lessons with me, then do look at my app, Solo, Fretboard Visualization Trainer. It's available on the iOS store and the Google store. And also you can get lessons with me over on my website at davidbb.com and check out the podcast I host, The Guitar Hour. Um, all links are in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.